Sentenced to 58 years, a man in prison since the early 80s is now a free man. Lisa Benson is live at the Jackson County Courthouse to explain why the state let him go. Well, they let him go because he is an innocent man. The Jackson County prosecutor held a press conference this afternoon to announce that Robert Nelson is not a rapist. Now, in 1984, Nelson was convicted of rape, sodomy, and robbery after being identified by the rape victim. Immediately, Nelson and his family appealed. Nelson was sentenced to 70 years in all. He spent more than 30 years in prison for the rape and unrelated cases. Last summer, Laura O'Sullivan with the Midwest Innocence Project took the case. Through DNA evidence and testing, they proved Nelson's innocence. He was released on Wednesday. O'Sullivan said Nelson was not ready to talk to the media about his case. Instead, he wanted to spend time with family. He was trying to figure out cell phones the other day when I was visiting with him. Uh, this is a huge transition for him. He's a very um, soft-spoken, vulnerable, gentle guy, and um, he needs to spend some time with his family. Now the DNA did match two other men right now. Jerry Haley is behind Bards, now charged with rape, and the prosecutor has not released the name of the second man now accused of that rape again. Now this man is free, and another man is behind jail, in, behind bars right now for a 1983 rape. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.